maybe it was your time to lose. Lose? I don't lose! I win! I win! That's my job! That's what I do! Bust a move, aka Kenny, the owner of Martini, said he beat me up on your dog. Nothing has ever whooped the wrong. You said he said he beat you up? Yes. I gotta look at it again. Then he cleared it up. No, I, I said I punched him. He said, I think he said I got the best of him. Okay. He gave you a props and he was like, I got the best of him though. He said, I got the best of him. Like mm. How you get the best of him? So with the other part of the story, this is real, you can't say I'm lying. You snuck him. <laughs> Boom. Listen to this shit, bro. You see how big that nigga is? I'm six on six two. I'm like 170 pounds, bro. Mm. He hit me. Boom. You don't never tell that part of the story. It's your man, Bustin' Move, general YouTuber, man. Listen, hey, uh, shout out to No Weather. <clears throat> man, listen, my eyelids is going crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. But shout out to No Weather, man. Shout out to No Weather Platform. And, you know, I try to support all the bloggers, YouTubers. I try to support everybody that drop content. I at least try to watch it. If I don't like it, I might not put a like on it. But if I like it, I hit, I hit the like button, man, because I want, I want everybody to stay in the algorithm. But, you know, no weather dropped another uh, video of Pretty D, a.k.a. Yappa, or should I say, a.k.a. Pretty Confused, three days ago. And as I'm looking at the joint, I'm looking like, what is he talking about? So I'm like, you can't even get behind Murray Goes. That's for one. What was you going to get in the car to get right behind Murray Goes? Stop what you're doing. So then, like, your story got to make sense. Pretty confused. It gotta make a sense. Pretty D, aka pretty confused. It gotta make sense. You say we got outside, in between the cars. So if we if we in between the cars, that means we have solidified ourselves where we about to be at. So you telling me my 6'4", 250 frame, two forty, whatever, in between the car. I did a spin around in between the car. Stop what you doing. Like come on, man. Like stop what you doing. You gonna see on the first video, he gonna say he noodle legged me. Wah, 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 wah. Then you're gonna see that video after the very first interview. He never mentions anything about noodle legging me because you wanna know why? It never happened. But it's cool though, man. Hit the like button, subscribe button, get all the notifications. It's your man, Bust and Move. General YouTube. You can see me doing anything, anywhere, any given time. And at the end of the day, I just learned that this is just all comedy. This is just all for the internet now these days. It's your man, Bust and Move, man. Check this out, man. Look at these. It's crazy. I'm out. Not, I mean, Rick, my man. So you know how I am. So he was just blowing it off like they just do what we got to do to keep people talking about my reaction over them. So he came to Murray goes off the rah rah shit. It was me, Deuce Now, Uncle D Block. Uh, I think what band was playing. So he come in there, nigga. What's up with you? Know, I'm like, nigga, what's up? We can go outside, but it was police outside. So. When we go outside, it's so, I can't remember because it's just so long ago. We like in between the car. So it's like a Burger King across the street from Murray Goes. And I was like, we can go with Burger King at, or we can go behind Murray Goes. Uh, we can go behind Murray Goes where ain't no police and they're going to break this shit up or whatever. So this is what happened. We're like this in between. So here's the car. Here's another car. And we're between the cars. Kenny say, let me. Let me explain this to y'all. So I can't, I can't explain. I, I wish I could visually show y'all this shit. So let me, let me move this back up. So y'all can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? If y'all can't hear me, you gotta let me know. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, all right. So look, so we in between. So it's a car here. And it's a car here, if you know how Murray goes parking lot is, all that big-ass parking lot. So it's the car here and the car here. We in between the cars talking like this. So he say, when I say, look, we can go behind Murray goes to the, to, uh, uh, behind the Burger King or something. This is what he do. He say, I, and then turn around and swing on me. So when he swing on me, I catch it, no homo pause one time. I catch it real late. So, and so when it went, so boom, so the jump hit me like, like right here. So I said, nigga, you hit like a bitch. So then, you know, they try to break it up and he backs up and then 
we put our shit up, and then we come back towards each other again, swing a couple shots, blah, 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 and then they broke us up. That was it. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't like a nigga. That's why I said on the podcast, it's not like a nigga beat me up, bro. Like, God, is that's not what happened. But I'm on man time. I was in my fucking 20s or some shit when that shit happened, fool. <laughs> I was in my fucking 20s. I'm not fighting no niggas unless you disrespecting my band or you disrespecting me. Or I'm not on that. So I got great heads now. You niggas clearly wasn't coming to Go-Go's when I was putting that work in. So it's, I don't care no more about that. I don't get bothered. Nobody bothers me. I'm safe all the time. So I don't care about this shit. So when he says something, <laughs> so, so when he said it on the podcast, I got mad because I'm like, I'm, I'm just to get back. You know what I'm saying? Like, if niggas would really know what's up with me, me and my cousins and me and my men where I'm from, we really be on that. So I ain't never let a nigga get a pass in my life on nothing. And I and, and this is the thing. I respect Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Because from what I see from Kenny, he would he, he a man. He on man time. He gonna fight your ass, he with whatever you with. And I respect that because I come from the same cloth. So it's like what it is, what it is. So, you know, it, it's like and I'm glad that me and this nigga have grown because we can argue like a motherfucker then we'll talk about it, be laughing about it and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I tell everybody, people be wanting to see shit. So the only reason that I got on the internet and on this podcast shit was to give a little bit of light to Rick, to the lead talkers, to let them know, like, to, like, let them niggas know.